life, there are four seasons, my guys. There's the hot season, the cold season, the sad season, and my favorite season, the sale season. The four seasons. And this sale season is about to kick off uh, thanks to a sale from a company called Blue Underground. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about this sale. People go, hey, Steve, what do you recommend? What do I pick up? What do I avoid? And to be very frank with you, I have no Blue Underground on my shelf. I haven't been very confident in that investment. I, I just don't see it. You know, they put out like a lot, a lot of foreign movies, honestly. And you guys know, like, foreign movies just, you know, they're just not really worth having. People just don't want them. If it doesn't have English, you know, especially American English, you know, it just doesn't have any value here. You know, yeah, you might get, like, some, like, bizarre weirdo to buy, like, some, like, you know, dorky Doctor Who thing. But this is the real world, you know, and we're talking about real people. You know, I just see all these, like, you know, Italian movies and, like, a bunch of, like, low-budget movies that, like, no one's ever heard of. And you can get away with that, you know, if you're a company like, you know, Vinegar Syndrome or Arrow, you know, those are companies that, like, know how to really extract wealth out of a product, you know. You can buy crap from them, and you can feel confident enough that you're going to retain some money. I just don't know about this. I feel like this is going to be kind of like another, like, full moon situation. Um, I am going to take a bit of a gamble. I'm probably going to be picking up all the 4Ks during the sale, you know, because I need to know, do they come with slips? The pictures I see on the website, they have slips, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, you know, they've got like movies like, I think there's one called like Zombie, you know, I, I'm assuming that must be like the first zombie movie. Um, so that probably came out like what, like 19, like 30 or something. You know, a very long time ago. So it's probably black and white. And I don't think it's American. Um, so that's like a double-edged sword. Uh, so I'm just not sure if that's going to like have a ton of long-term wealth. I feel like I feel like that's very short-term, you know. So I'm going to have to find some like old people to buy that one pretty quick. Um, maybe in three to five years it'll, it'll have some value. But I'm going to have to sell it right away. Um, uh, there's like... Some other, like, foreign films, uh, House by the Cemetery or something, like, like, what, that title just sounds like, you know, it just sounds like with titles like that, they're, like, trying to sound scary, but they never are. These old movies, like, they're just, they're just snooze fests, you know? They don't have, like, good CGI, you know, they don't have name brand actors, it's always, like, just a bunch of no names and, and old-timey effects, um... And I don't know, they've got, like, a movie, like... They do have one American movie, uh, Uncle Sam. I don't know too much about that. I have seen there was a slipcover. I don't know if it's still available. I've added it to my cart. Um, but I just... I'm not too familiar with them, you know, as a label. Uh, I just... They're not one of the big ones, you know. Again, this is more like a full moon-like story where it's just, like, small change, you know. It, you know, again... Vinegar Syndrome, I'm going to have a video of that coming out, and, you know, I'm going to be telling you to spend big. Uh, with this one, you're going to have to be careful. I was able to, you know, find, like, an estranged uncle that I haven't seen in, like, 10 years, and, you know, I knocked on his door, pretended to be his buddy. You know, he was all sad and stuff, and I was able to, you know, I was able to con about a grand out of him, so that way I can kind of make an investment. I'm going to be picking up all the 4Ks, uh, I can't really see much value in anything else. They put out a ton of DVDs, which that's a really bad sign, you know. You know, as, as, if you guys have been following this channel for a long time, you know the DVD game is long dead. Uh, it's it's not worth anything. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your pleasure. It's not going to get you any money in the long run. People just don't want it. And I feel like that's just what's going to be with this Blue Underground business, you know. I just think it's going to be a bunch of stuff people just 
don't want. So, I don't know. You know, buy at your own risk. I'm, I'm pretty skeptical. I'm going to give it a shot. But, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. You know, like, they've got, like, I don't know, Maniac Cop 2. Like, what even is that? Like, what, the big name actor in that is, like, some uh, Bruce Campbell fella? I don't even know who that is. That's, that's someone stupid. That's someone who doesn't have a name. There's no value. There's no brand there. You know, that's not a Tom Cruise. That's, that's not, like, a Tom Holland, you know? That's not a Hugh Jackman, you know? That's not someone people really are going to be interested in. That's... That's small change, you know, maybe you can have like a lifetime original and there's going to be some weirdo that tunes into that. But, you know, that's just not the world we live in. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna make them an investment. I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm, I'm a little fishy on it, but, you know, again, I was able to con some money out of it. But you might want to save your money for bigger and better sales coming up. You know, I'm, I'm sure there's a Severin sale this month. We know for a fact there's a Vinegar Syndrome sale. And I, I've got just buckets of cash ready for that sale. And I hope you do too. But uh, keep your eyes peeled on this channel. We got a lot coming, guys.